Equality Labs and The Laura Flanders Show are excited to help you secure your iPhone. Phones are our frenemies when it comes to digital security. From communications to banking, they are the center of our digital lives, which make them a crucial point of vulnerability. From phone seizures to security breaches to intrusive government surveillance, the best defense is a collective one where we are all more literate in how we can secure our phones. Putting a pin code on your iPhone ensures you have one layer of protection if anyone ever gets a hold of your physical phone. We recommend a pin code over a fingerprint and even a swipe because there are more legal protections for the pin code. All iPhones come encryption enabled right out of the box, but it's only activated if you have your pin set up. So do not hesitate to set up your pin today. For additional security, add an app lock software to protect other apps you'd like to secure. Some apps like Signal have their own app lock, so check it and secure up. Make sure you turn off location services. Much of the location data collected on our phone is unnecessary, and many corporations use, sell, and swap this data without our consent. So scroll through the applications in your location services and choose which apps you want to track data and which you don't. Make sure you clear your threads frequently. Keep in mind that texts and phone calls are not secure and are surveilled under multiple government surveillance programs. Use a secure messaging app like Signal to minimize insecure communications over phone and text. Use a VPN or a virtual private network on your phone to secure your network access. A VPN will privatize your network searches so that your browsing data is only your own and not the internet companies. When you use your camera, know that your photographs can share information about you, where you took the photo, what phone you use, and even the altitude of your location. It does this through something called metadata, which is simply data about your data. And all of this information is stored in the metadata of images that are taken on your phone's camera. To protect yourself, make a conscious choice about sharing that information by using an app like Pixelmet. iCloud Backup basically allows Apple an access lever into your data. If the government is trying to access your content and you refuse, you now have to trust Apple will not turn it over. Download DuckDuckGo to replace your web browser. Protect the accounts that you use regularly like your email, banking, and shopping apps with a password manager like LastPass, 1Password, or KeePassX. These applications will allow you to create and store individual passwords for all of your accounts without you having to memorize them. Additionally, you can add another layer of protection with two-factor authentication. This basically forces all of your accounts to verify your identity with another layer. It's like how Prince Charming used both Cinderella's face and her shoe to confirm she was his true love. Similarly, use two-factor authentication with apps like Authy or Duo so that you can make sure no one else but you is allowed into your apps. Learn more about two-factor authentication at turnon2fa.com. That's it for now. For tips and support, please visit equalitylabs.org or our curriculum site at digitalsecurityforall.org. For more reporting and journalism that matters, please visit lauraflanders.com.